Hey guys, and welcome back to Question and Answers with the Provokers. Um, it's an awesome Wednesday. I'm not going to lie. It's a little drizzly out there. We've had one of those weeks, guys. But um, last time we were kind of well, talking a work-life balance. So me and Shane are really excited to say we're actually going to take a couple hours today, which is crazy for us. Like, yeah, we haven't taken a break. We don't take breaks. It's crazy for us. And during the, a work day, and I'm actually going to go meet my nephew, Wild, who's here from B.C., we are beyond excited. So I've, he's- Can't uh, wait to play with the wild man. Yeah, so, and of course he, his mom, Kim. <laughs> Dang Kim. <laughs> yeah, Kim's great. So yeah, we're going to, uh, we got a couple questions. So yeah, we're gonna get, dive right in. Yeah, but first look at the, uh, this amazing like mural that's behind Lisa. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So this was, I forget his name, Brayog, Bray. Yeah, he was a local graffiti artist that came in here and did this amazing awesome Amazing work, thing. amazing work. I know, we, we actually- I'll put his name in the, uh, in the comments yeah. at the bottom. And uh, yeah, he, he did this all freehand. So like with I was- With spray cans. With spray cans. And we actually got to see a little bit of it when it was being done. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, it was really neat. Yeah. But- Okay, so we're going to start with lighthearted because this is a uh, free for all. Yeah. So we're going to ask the light bar what heart. So someone decided that they wanted questions for Harvey. <laughs> yeah. They wanted to know, do you like music? What type of music do you like best? Fast, slow, loud, quiet. So I'm going to let Shane answer the when Harvey was a baby question and then I'll get into what today's like. <laughs> When he was a baby, I used to put 97.7 Hits FM, so it's hard rock and like, uh, you know, Metallica, stuff like that. And yeah, he used to keep him calm because, uh, yeah, he was a little bit high strung. He still is. Yep. But he likes to uh, sleep to it. So it was really good. Yeah. Because at that point in time of him being a puppy, it was pretty tough on us. We weren't getting a lot of sleep. So... Yeah, he was. He uh, definitely would fall asleep to this music. Loud so, and fast. Loud and fast, and it works. So uh, we were like, yeah. <laughs> um, to the present day, uh, he. I'm not gonna lie. He just wants to be around us, and uh, you know, we'll catch him sitting there and just watching the Leafs game or the Raptors game or even yeah, the Blue he likes Sports. He he'll just watch everything with us, and yeah, he's just a suck. So. Whenever he gets a chance, he's just right beside us. Whatever we're watching, whatever we're listening to, he he just doesn't care. He's also the neighborhood whore. So um, he basically is friends with every kid in the neighborhood. And I can't, my walks take forever. <laughs> but it's cool. I'd rather have a really social dog than the opposite. Yeah, he's even got his own Instagram, Life with Harv. Yeah. And on there, you can actually, there's a couple pictures of him watching the Olympics with us, I think, when he was younger. Like, yeah. he's sitting there staring, watching the gold medal hockey game. Yeah, he was very much into it. So, yeah, I guess we have a serious question now, guys. Yeah, okay, so this is a serious one, and it's a great question. It is a great one, and I actually... Sorry I took so long to answer, but, yeah, I, I've been saving this one for the very, very end, yeah. because I really like this one. As a business owner, do you still deal with imposter syndrome? If so, how do you deal with it? And do you think it will ever go away? Oh man. I'll let that, Lisa go first. Oh, I have to go first. Uh, I don't, this is a tough one. And thank you for who, for the kind soul that brought it, that asked that question. It's tough. Like, you know, I can easily say I've been in agency life before I started Provoke for like over 13 years. And even now I still am like, you know, we get, uh, we get certain projects or we deal with certain clients and we're, you know, we're kind of awestruck by the fact of like the caliber of clients we're dealing with. And, you know, I'm a very modest person. I may joke about it, but I'm extremely modest. And I have a really hard time sometimes even pitching to new clients to, to show off our skills and our value and like what we bring to the table because it's so tough to talk about yourself. And it's something that I've really tried to work on a lot and I still have a really hard time with it. 
So um, that's my end of it. <laughs> well, just in case anyone doesn't know, imposter syndrome is basically where you get a job that you feel is way bigger than your skill set or any of that. Like you don't feel comfortable because you always feel like the rug is going to be pulled out from underneath you because yeah. No matter how good a job you're doing, like you could be knocking it out of the park, you still mentally feel that it's you're an imposter, like living a lie inside that yeah. work world. And I, I think for and I, I feel like everyone, I'm maybe I'm just speaking. I would hope, I hope that everyone didn't experience this, but everyone has worked in different places before, and same with me. Agency life can like in. My experience, agency life can be really tough. Like there's, it's highly competitive. Um, yeah, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of great things. Like I've worked with a lot of great people, but I've also felt that when I work there, because you're in, you know, you're in working with people that have design awards up the yin yang, and here you are, like just sitting there. Or I don't know. I I've had scenarios where. You know, you just don't jive with someone, and you know, I, it, it all works. So. Yeah, and then you start feeling, you know, is you start feeling paranoid, or you start feeling um, uh, anxiety because you just don't feel that you're up to the same standards as other people that you're working with. And the crazy thing is, you are. It's just that, you know, for me, it's definitely a confidence builder thing that I have to work on. <laughs> Well, the, the easiest way to deal with it, yeah. I think, is like baby steps. Yeah. You're going to have to take one moment at a time, one second at a time. Take the praise when it comes, even though, you know, it's not easy sometimes. Yeah. Because you don't feel you're deserving of it. But it, it's baby steps. Yeah. <laughs> like that movie by Bill Murray. Yeah. Like it's all about baby steps. Like. You take one thing at a time, keep learning, keep pushing yourself to be better. Like you never settle for just being mediocre. You just yeah. keep pushing because eventually you might wear out of that imposter syndrome and feel you deserve your title. Yeah, and, and, the, the, uh, and the other thing is don't think you're alone. Like me and Shane just shared, and I'm sure there's tons of you guys out there that have gone through something or something similar to this where, you know, it's, to me, it, it can really ra ravel around the whole idea of how our self-confidence and our self-esteem is. So, you know, I, I, like I've shared already, that's definitely something I have to work on. And like, even when I pitch to new companies, I really, you know, have to realize like me and Shane have some so severely awesome skills and, you know, and we're a, we're a great team. But sometimes it's just really tough about talking about yourself and realizing in your brain yeah. like what you're saying and is actually what you should be feeling. You, <laughs> ne you need to treat it like a mental health thing. Like cuz it is. It, it's on it's on the closer to the anxiety scale. So I would it's say so. it just you need to treat it like that, baby steps, work your way through it, and build up your confidence one day at a time, one yeah. moment at a time, because you know, you're know you gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days, and we all do. And uh, just a little tidbit um, I can give uh, to everyone. I actually use an app called My Affirmations, and it really helps me um, when I'm having one of those days that uh, you know you need to be in the right mindset in the morning. And I've been doing it a lot lately, and it actually really helps. So if you know, if you're somebody that's struggling with the is struggling with these kind of issues, just try it. I tried it. Shane meditates. Every I use Headspace, and like it gives you the uh, the option to either meditate two, five, ten, twenty yeah. minutes, like you know, two minutes of nice breathing before you. Uh, and clearing your mind before you start a meeting. Like, yeah. I don't see anything wrong with that. that. I find it very helpful, personally. I have to go for two big walks a day. Like, uh, that's just here. Like, I'll go once in the morning and I walk around the entire building, like outside, and then I'll go again in the afternoon because sometimes you're just sitting there all the time and you don't realize, like, you need to take a break. <laughs> 
Taking breaks are key. Yeah, like, it, it, you, you got to keep yourself in the right mindset. And the best way to do that is take a break like every hour because they say that your attention span only lasts like an hour. Yeah, I know some of us programmers like to sit for four hours at a time. But we start getting like we can get sloppy like yeah. after like three or four hours. So get up, get stretch, then go back to it. You know, yeah. with a clear mind, have a drink of water. Help your back out. Like you, you should be definitely. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to. I'm only saying that because my back's been hurting a lot these days. So yeah, um, I hope we answered that, and I think we went on a little more on with that but hey there's some really awesome tips in there and if you know somebody out there is hearing this and that helps them out cool me and shane are both happy as heck that at that so again thank you again for listening thank you for watching too because we this is like the end of our first series of this we're going to return with some more videos in the coming weeks we'll we'll let you know when we announce them we we have our ideas in our yeah and not telling you yeah and um honestly if there's any other questions you guys have like let us know i feel like we can do one-off videos we can do one-offs because it's really important to us the work-life balance and making sure you're you know me and shane are big advocates for mental health we've both been through very different scenarios but i feel like everyone the more we talk about it the you know the more people are not alone yeah people are going to feel more um able to talk to you know their friends their family about it too and get the help they need so yeah yeah i think that's uh i think that's it yeah i think we did good yeah so (laughs) I hope everybody has a great day. We are going to go enjoy playing with the wild man. So see you guys later. Yeah. Have a good one all.